was a tackle by Sunderland. Bonoff tends to take the throw-ins and the free kicks. Oh, he's found Kempis! Good save by Pat Jennings. And Arsenal caught out at the throw-in, and Kempis given the kind of space from which he scored so many goals, and denied then only by the Arsenal goalkeeper. Played back for Ricks to shoot, it hit his own player, Stapleton. Talbot turns it back to Nelson. Stapleton well forward, Price is there, it's Talbot! Strikes the defender, it's still free though. O'Leary. Stapleton's up! Oh, and taken out by the defender, Karate on the line. David Price is injured in an earlier incident, but Stapleton was so close. And you'll see how close from this. Karate, the fullback, saved his goalkeeper. Best pieces of individual skill we've seen initially there by Rixey. Won the ball and then here he is again doing the same. He's found Stapleton this time. Can he find Price? He can. Price shoots. Well, I think Arsenal deserved the shot on goal there after the work Ricks had done. And David Price volleyed it with his right foot. And as Pereira went across his line, the ball dropping the wrong side of the post for Arsenal. The ambition to motivate and try and put things right. Here's Brady. Brady shot! Oh, he saved it! Pereira turning it round. And Brady there went inside his man, and it was on his left foot as he picked up pace. And Pereira came to his left. <laughs> and yours too there from Solsona. Beautifully done. Plays the ball down. Four Bonoff. Bonoff is through here with Tempest just inside him. It's far gone all the way. And Jennings saves. It's through Pat Jennings style. Threw himself down and got out of the legs or the body in the way. But Reiner Bonoff, a player of his quality. I wonder whether he should have scored. It's easy to say that from here. But he was clean through it, but the angle wasn't good, and Jennings came to narrow it anyway, on the post, on the six-yard line. He fell, Pat Jennings, and again, it nearly went through his legs, but not quite. As Candelio got his foot in there. Brady. Cut it back for Ricks to shoot. It was going wide, and out again. Oh, what a good effort. So close as Young came in at the far post there with Sunderland. That was the nearest Arsenal have been. Graham Ricks fired it with his left foot and it flew across the face of the goal. And as Sunderland came in, it was so, so close. And the crowd beginning to settle themselves down, thinking it'll be extra time, but this is Talbot for Arsenal. Talbot for Stapleton. And now for Pat Rice. And now for Liam Brady. And it's whistle's gone. Extra time. Resuscitation of all types now. And Arsenal and Valencia go into the extra half hour. Solsona. Solsona shot. Good effort by this industrious midfield player. Kempis drives one, and it was bending, but not enough. On the right-hand side of the penalty area, they used Kempis to try and bend them with his left foot round the wall, round the goalkeeper. This is Rice. Big Willie Young is up there, stretching. Following up is Ricks. On this side is David O'Leary. And Sunderland tries to get in. Stapleton, this is. O'Leary, Sunderland, no! No, offside. Offside when the ball was originally played to O'Leary. No goal. David O'Leary in the attack, trying to bend the ball in, but he was offside there when he crossed the ball before Alan Sunderland ran in and finished things off. Yet again. 
And he's going to blow any second here, and he has, and it's penalties. And Pat saved it. Oh, Pat Jennings has saved from Kempis. What a start for Arsenal. He took it with his famous left foot, and Pat knew which way it was going to go. And what a save. But don't forget, this is just the beginning of the competition. Brady against Pereira. Oh, and he saved it as well. Goodness me. We're back to square one again. They both missed. Liam Brady went for the goalkeeper's left, and Pereira must have moved. Look, he moved his feet, and surely that should have been retaken, in my view, from here, but you can argue about that yourselves. So Sona then against Jennings. A goal! Struck with all the venom of a man who knew he was going to score. Daniel Solsona. Oh, he hammered that. And Jennings, even then, threw himself to his right, but it flew into the net above him. Here. Stapleton. Puts it away. So it's one all. Stapleton with his right foot. The goalkeeper made another good attempt to save that, actually. Pablo. And Pablo scores to make it 2-1 and put the pressure back on Arsenal. And I think Alan Sunderland. Pablo is a left-footed player and he beat Pat Jennings down in his right-hand corner. What? Sunderland. Goal! Pereira moved again, as a matter of fact, but it's in. I think this goalkeeper's moving all the time from these. Anyway, it's a goal. It's 2-2. Two -two. Castellanos against Jennings. Oh, it was in on the underside of the bar, I think. I think it actually probably went in off the underside here. Castellanos making it 3-2 to Valencia. And it went in off the underside of the bar. A bit fortunate, maybe. But Brian Torbert's under immense pressure here. Torbert for Arsenal. Oof. Well, it went in. Now then, it's going to be 3-3 three, three with one each to take. And Reiner Bonhoff... As we see Torbert's penalty go in again there, he put it right in the corner, didn't he? Keeper went near it again, though. Valencia into a 4-3 lead, and there's pandemonium on the touchline. Bonhoff now. Scores! And Hollins must score to keep Arsenal in the competition. Bonhoff has made it 4-3 to Valencia, and if John Hollins misses, then Arsenal have been beaten. But if he scores, then other players have got to be recruited from the bench to continue the competition in sudden death fashion. John Hollins, after all these years in the game, and Paul Barra, no wonder he looks concerned. And he scored! Well, there's no greater pressure than that. And now we're 4-4, and it's sudden death. In other words, the, the actual competition is over, but it's square. So now each side will go on taking them until somebody misses. Different players each time still. But of course, even if you miss, the other side must have the chance to put theirs away and vice versa. It's got to be an equal number taken by each team. And centre-back, Ricardo Arias. This is sudden death now. It's a question of each side taking one until somebody misses with the even number of kicks taken. Arias. Oh, it just went in underneath Pat Jennings, I think. Or perhaps just to one side of him. Just see it again here. Arias hit it with his right foot a little bit nervously, I thought. But as Jennings goes to the right, it does in fact go just by his arm. So, Graham Ricks has to score to keep Arsenal alive. 
If he misses, Valencia win. That's why Arsenal, taking their penalties second, are under greater pressure until Valencia miss another one. Graham Ricks as Paul Barron watches again. There are one or two of them, actually, who uh, don't really want to watch this. But now Ricks. Oh, he saved it! And Valencia have won the Cup Winners' Cup because Graham Ricks' penalty was saved by Carlos Pereira.